Hey, in this video, I want to show you how to review your search terms report. Uh, this is uh, in response to a question from our boy Hernan. Hernan, thanks for uh, the question and for being a YouTube subscriber. Um, if you've been working with Google Ads for some time, you probably already know this. But just in case, uh, you know, I, I don't want to call this basic, but it's it's definitely part of the fundamentals. Let's say um, inside of Google Ads, if you're in any any campaign um, or collection of campaigns, over here on the left hand side under keywords, you can select search keywords. Now, here's what's interesting: these are the keywords that you tell Google you want to bid on. Pretty straightforward. Um, and you can you know break them down by match type, which I've got other videos on match type, so I won't necessarily go over that in this particular instance. But the keywords that you bid on aren't the keywords that you get, oddly, uh, which makes sense. You know, I mean, Google has the ability through match types to be a little bit more expensive. They've gotten much more aggressive as of late. Uh, but if you want to see the search terms that people are actually like the terms that actually triggered your ads, so the search keywords are uh, the keywords that you you tell Google this is what I want, and um, the search terms are the, the terms that are actually triggering your ads. So then you click search terms under keywords. So search keywords and search terms are two different categories. The search terms show you the term that you paid for and the keyword that Google decided it lives underneath. So here's actually a good example. PPC advertising is my keyword. The search term is PPC. Google calls that an exact match. Clearly not an exact match, but it actually is close enough. Here's a true exact match. PPC advertising triggered PPC advertising. Awesome. Um, PPC advertising triggered PPC ads. That's a fair expansion. Still pisses me off that it's an exact match because exact match is supposed to be exact, but that is what it is. I'll get off my soapbox. Uh, let's find a stupid one. <laughs> Here's a stupid one. Paid for clicking ads. Pay per click marketing. Now, this is phrase match. If that was exact match, I'd be, I'd be angrier. Um, but here's somebody who's trying to get paid for clicking ads, which I don't, can't imagine why or how that's a thing. That's so absurd. Um, but my ad triggered that search. So what I should be doing is finding finding the term that I should add to my negative keywords in order to make sure this doesn't get triggered again. Clicking might be it. That scares me a little bit, though, because there's so many variations where somebody might be looking for an agency. I don't know. Maybe paid. Um, either of these two are, are options. I, I'd have to noodle on that a little bit more. Um, this is a good one. Google pay-per-click. Google PPC services. So not an exact match. It's a close variant, but Google gave it to us anyway. I want it. That's a good term for me. Um, Monitor your search terms on a regular basis and use them to influence your negative keyword profile. Uh, it's it's how you're going to keyword sculpt. This is where keyword sculpting comes from. Here's what sucks is Google took away our search terms uh, in large part. Um, a pretty significant percentage of them, actually. They didn't give us a number. They told us, you know, they insinuated that it would be small. But um, when we first tested it, it's been a long time since I've looked at it, uh, since for this particular discussion, but when we first tested it, of the 10 conversions we had that day, six of them were not provided search terms, which is crazy, 60% of your search terms. Now, it, it varies. It fluxes, obviously, on a, a campaign by campaign and account by account basis, but you're not going to be able to see all the search terms that you're paying for, um, which means we don't know how expensive Google's getting, and we don't know all the negative keywords that need to be added to our campaign, but this is what we've got. So that's how you see your search terms report. I'll include a link to Google's documentation on that, too. Um, which is pretty sparse, but I just figure it's probably good for me to be um, comprehensive and thorough. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.